going on YouTube welcome back today we're gonna to be playing one of the best Madden players to ever touch the sticks see right now we're playing Mike skim 23 three-time belt winner and honestly he's really good at this game and he was one of the you know content creators who was able to get the game early um, he was one of the first people I saw on YouTube twitch whatever it may be running this penny with Texas it's gonna be a matchup between Texas versus Texas if you're a Longhorns fan you're gonna to want to watch this one Comes down to the wire, $3,000 PL tournament. Let's get into it right now. Right here, guys, we're gonna be kicking the ball off first. And honestly, when you're playing a matchup like this, Texas, um, you know, versus Texas, if you're not aware, Texas is the best team in terms of pass rush. Their blitz screen's different, and it's because their abilities on defense. You'll see it really quickly. We're gonna be in this Texas penny. You see right here, we're setting up our depth chart. If you want a video on that, you know, if you love Texas, just, um, let me know in the comments. I might make a TikTok shorts. The thing that makes Texas so good on defense, they have five quick jumps. Quick jump is an ability which pretty much you get off the block, excuse me, you get off a extremely fast pass rush. Um, so think of like Madden 20 blitzes where they're just instantly coming in free. You get a, you know, quick jump, I guess you could say. And, um, you know, oftentimes you're gonna come in free and sack the quarterback. So they have five of those, a couple platinums, I think, a couple golds. Overall, it's really effective in a lot of defenses. Like people are running 6-1 now. People are running, you know, been running this uh, penny, which is pretty much 3-3-5 wide. People run 5-2, all types of defense, mid blitz. Anything you could think of screaming in, they run that. So here we go. We're going to be playing great defense from the first play on. Um, and there it goes. They're quick jumps. You know, he picked it up initially, but the thing is they do shed. They do come off the block. This gameplay, you're gonna be able to look at some adjustments if you'd like. Uh, I show my player art quite a bit. Honestly, it's a bad habit, but you know, I need it, man. Sometimes I give up bombs. See right here, he runs that wheel route, motions it out to the out uh, outside and throws it. That's been a dot for many years. And honestly, from what I remember, I think Skimbo was like the first guy doing that, like Madden 17. Right here, we're gonna play a little bit of coverage. We're disguising our looks. We're not sending five every play like a lot of people do. And it's phenomenal coverage. We switch stick to the outside. Can we knock it out? And we are able to knock it out. Honestly, we get a little lucky. Uh, he, his guy burned us. We had a third there, but you know he gets he doesn't get the best animation. So that's a 50-50 play. You know I'm glad he didn't catch it. I guess there's two people there. He just gets the bad animation. We get the uh, lucky end of that play. But yeah, you see Skimbo motion blocks quite a bit versus Blitz. So we're gonna take advantage of it. We're gonna send Blitzes off the right side. We're gonna just you know win the chess match. He, he does it right here. We're gonna send the Blitz off the right. Excuse me, we don't even send the Blitz. We send three. And we get a fluky, fluky disengage. We're going to rewind that real quick. Peep this guy on the right edge. Uh, we send three. This was pretty good coverage in my opinion. I should have put this vert hook on a flat. And that would have been a, a like a super bag. But we get that quick win with that quick jump. And I think he had the corner rod open and the flat. He might have been making one of those reads. Just a tough break by him. He gets sacked by the send three. We accidentally messed up on our first play. The clock went below five seconds and we took the flag for false start, I believe. And right here, we are not making the best three. We throw that RPO um, and his guy was there to play it. So honestly, that, that five-year flag kind of messed me up. Right here, like I said, he's running Penny as well. So I'm gonna be kind of on edge. The reads might not be the best. It's right here, we're sending up a nice play. Takes quite a bit of time to set up protection. Um, and what are we able to do? We had our one wide open, but he comes in free. But we honestly had a, quite a few things open. I think he sent five right there and both edges come in free. So that's just not the, that's just not ideal on your first pass play. It's gonna kind of be in my mind for the rest of the game. Like, here we go. Uh, we like that seam, we had that seam open. I don't know if he's gonna adjust and pick it up, but we had that open on the last play. We're gonna try to hit it again, and we hit a nice dot all the way to the one yard line. And like I said, man, his guy came off that left edge free. Uh, running back picked it up at the last second. You see right there, perfect replay. Picked it up at the last second, thankfully we, you know, we didn't step up or anything. We just hit the open read and we were able to get in there. Right here, we're gonna be a wildcat just because it's it's just so so good and down in the one. You know, it is cheesy, but I'll run wildcat any day of the week on a fourth and one, you know, on a first and goal at the one, first and goal at the two. I don't care if you call me cheese for it. You know, I understand it's cheese with the Judkins or the spin spin. I don't do that. I just wanna convert my, you know, short down distances. Right here, guys, we're on defense and we're screaming. Nice little flat route. Can we make a tackle? We are able to make a tackle, but you know, I say that because Baxter is just so good with that. I don't know if it's silver 360, gold's 360. He'd be out of there. I think it's silver 360. Texas, super balanced team. You could run the ball, you could pass the ball. Honestly, enjoy using these guys quite a bit. Right here, good switch stick. We didn't commit to it, and 
we can't make a tackle. That's the play I was thinking of in my mind, what had happened. We, um, yeah, I mean, we, we just didn't commit to that angle route. We, we, we could have caged it. We could have, you know, he might have caught it, but we would have been able to tackle him. But I kind of went back with my user to guard the deep pass. So here we go, back on offense. Just going to try to get this play off. We're going to run, hit him with a 360 to the right, and try to get back to the left. Try to get our, the touchdown he just got on us. Texas, they're elite pass rushers, but with the quick jump ability and the pass rush ability, you're going to give up something. And with that, it's going to be the run for this team. So right there, you know, we got screamed at. We had right there you see that platinum quick jump quicker jump off the snap while pass rushing that's the full description if you weren't aware of it this guy galette has it if you use texas make sure to put him in on the blitz at the edge he's gonna be wrecking havoc for you all game like more the more the more important thing is we're gonna have to pick it up and find ways to you know win on these early downs and that's what we do right there um you know his run d is not looking good right now i will continue running the ball um, if you're giving up the run uh, quick jump, you know, like I said, it's pretty cheesy But with the game how it's designed this college football game the run is pretty OP, right? You're gonna have to show me you could stop the run before I you know go out there and pass It's right there. Of course, we say that we're gonna pass we actually have a nice little play set up But we drop it. I'm not sure you know Isaiah bond that guy number 13 might have knockout ability They have knockouts in this game and if you play with Texas, you know how good bond is We're gonna double up and go to that same play again um, because it was just free, right? And this time we actually had throw our drag. Um, we get tackled down to this, uh, what is that? The 46 yard line. We had the post open again, kind of reluctant, but he's gonna shed our running back. So we are on a timer right here. Great run D by Skimbo. Been running that run too many times. Should have mixed it up. Should have ran an RPO, a toss. That's one thing about this Oregon playbook. They have a lot of good run plays out of that bunch, strong offset, whatever you know the formation is called. So here we go, our first test. We got to cook something up. Um, we're in the middle of the field. This is rough, man. This is really rough. And I accidentally came out in the wrong play. That's where we're going to burn the timeout right here. I don't know what, if you guys, it happens to you. I feel like I click the button and they always like just pick the wrong play sometimes. Especially like on a fourth down. That was super annoying. Had to burn one right there. Um, and you see right here, I just, I don't know what play I want to call. Um, we're going to just try to cook up and fi find a play. Find the dot. We're gonna motion this running back out, like complete freestyle right here. We block our tight end, just want a little bit of time. Looking for the speed out. I had the speed out and just a terrible read, man. Looking back on it, I can't believe I made that read. But you know, with time I get better. So I know now, look at the speed out. The speed out was wide open. You know, he played a flat, but he's wide open. Isaiah Bond is catching that. We were gonna maybe, I don't know, the right side he played good defense on. That was just not the read right there. Um, it's all good. You live and you learn, right? So we our stop that we got, we gave it right back. And here we go, back to it. Um, I unfortunately in this gameplay I was using my platinum quick jump. I didn't even realize it. Looking back on it, someone later, one of my friends in Discord said, "Yo, why are you using your platinum quick jump?" I thought he had a gold. Or it was silver, right? The platinum and the silver kind of look alike. So I was using my best pass rusher essentially, right? Him and Trey Moore, elite pass rushers on the Texas. Uh, Texas Longhorns team. First and 10 right here for Skimbo. He is gonna run this counter. Um, he is in, I believe, Oklahoma State playbook. I'm in 3-3-5 tight, and wow. I thought we had good scrapes right there. We played good run D. Somehow he was able to spin us inside. I, I, I'm actually confused, right? We were there. It's all good, he's down in this red zone. It's pretty tough to score down here. Um, he's probably, I assume, just gonna continue running the ball, so we gotta kind of sell out versus the run. Right here, motion blocks. So we shift our D-line to the right. Nice adjustment by us. Good switch stick. I love that defensive possession right there. That was amazing in my opinion. We're playing good defense uh, versus the pass right now. There's been a couple reads that he's, you know, overthrown or, you know, I've given up right here. Once more, we try to shift. It didn't work, but it doesn't matter. We're on all-out coverage right now. Bad switch stick right there. Bond just gets cooked and he ends up getting... That hurts. That, there's nothing worse than giving up a drag for like 20 yards and... What was that, second and 19? Uh, I should've put a three rec instead of like a flat, right? So right here, I don't know what happens. I don't know what, what that is, man. I really don't know what that is. Bruh moment of the game so far. Um, I don't even wanna rewind that. If you wanna see what happens, go ahead. He's gonna celebrate on it. At that time, like, I don't know if his, his game glitched or if I just clicked on and like froze him. Cause you know, you could click onto those uh, shovel passes. I'm really good at that clicking on type of stuff. See right, I, I don't know, I didn't show the replay, but you, you see right there, he kind of like, I don't know, his game might have glitched, he might have froze up. Either way, I don't believe that should have been a touchdown. Just like I said, we're gonna try to establish the run. He's he's like, he's not even trying to play run, dude. He's sitting in the gap. He did stop us at one time. I don't know how, I guess he shot the gap pretty well. That duo is hit or miss, right? You're either gonna get stuffed 
for like a loss of two, three yards, or it's going to be 10 plus yards every time. So I, like I said, I got to mix up my runs better when I do run. I, I want to say at this moment, time and moment, I have like probably three pass attempts. Um, yeah, like three or four pass attempts. Right there, he plays good D. So I don't know if I got to shift the run the other way. I, he, he, it's that dude, like I said, it's hit or miss, right? So one thing about this uh, Skimbo's penny is like his, his guys are on the left. Right here, uh, RPO to the right, super free. We're just like trying to take all this clock and make this a last drive, essentially. Um, like I said, his penny, his slot corner is on the left. I haven't seen anyone do this. I don't know why he, he's doing this. Uh, maybe for coverage purposes. Maybe the blitz screen's better that way. Right here, we're going to run flood. Hopefully, we get a little bit of time. We we just quick hiked or quick through the drag, and somehow we get a first down out of it. But I want you, to, you guys to see what I'm seeing, right? Because this is going to come later on in the game. Look at the left guy. I call hike. Left guy is looking like he's about to sack me. I don't know if my running back is going to pick him up or not. We play this game. Running back sometimes duns out. And in any matter, right? This is not ideal where, like, you know, you trust this, right? But at the end of the day, he does pick him up. Nonetheless, it's, it's still a good read. It's wide open. But I, I got scared when I saw that, right? I'm not comfortable yet versus Penny. I don't think anyone can be comfortable with that. Even, like, 2,000 reps versus defense. That's why I'm running as much as I am, right? I'm not comfortable versus yet. I believe this is like the third, fourth day the game came out. Maybe, I don't know. It, it was one of those early days where the game came out. And, you know, I was still trying to fi figure it out on offense. I was running a lot of playbooks. Um, we finally decided to run Oregon. And it, it was, it's been working. Right here, we're in Wildcat second in inches. And we are able to get into the end zone. So, yeah, we're kind of playing nasty right now. But you got to fight nasty with nasty, right? So, neither of us really feels comfortable he's throwing a nice couple dots neither of us feels comfortable versus this blitz see right here 13 seconds left we're just gonna play all out coverage good defense we get the sack that's gonna be half uh you know we could be up a little bit more but i'll take a tie we do get ball half let's win this game close it out and here we go back on offense right we're gonna try to cook up right here like you could just tell my i'm not letting the play develop because that guy on the left is coming in free right here we set up our protection got the tight end post going on and wide open, nice read. We had the corner route open with a post open. Nice little play set up right there. He's giving up that right side. He's running a lot of cover two on that right. I got to take advantage of that. Right here, we're sending up a nice play. We actually block everyone and we overthrow that. That's on me. I'm not even going to get like, oh, I got cheated this and a third. I'm just so like, he came in again off the left. My guy's picking it up. I got to trust it. But at the end of the day, like, I see the guy open, I throw the button. I'm kind of just psyched out about this blitz right now, as as anyone would be, right? So right here, I try to catch him off guard, running in cover two, just doesn't work. We actually had to post a little bit, um, but you know, he, he comes in free, it sacks us. So. so right here, we're gonna run corner strike. We're just gonna send out five, try to hit an open read. If he gives us a drag or something, we'll take it for a field goal. He actually blitzes everyone. We get perfect time and another overthrow, but I wanna watch his back real quick. I have a lot of options open. Um, Kind of just miss my reads. It happens. Tight end. You're not getting the first there. I'm not mad that I didn't throw that. But I do have this corner route if I wait just an extra second. He is wide open. Would have been a first for sure. I decided to throw it to my running back. This is also not a bad read. I just threw it a little too early. Um, because if I catch this, I'm able to spin. Easily could get a first, right? But, you know, I kind of messed up. Also, the timing is just thrown off because he bumped. I was kind of upset about those two plays. I overthrew passes that were open. End of the day, I just got to wait a little bit. But when you're on a timer, you can't really wait. But here we go. We're going to try to make this 60-yard field goal with a new... Look how fast it's going. Can we ice up one time and make this? Um, and I don't know how this is in. I He makes it. He makes a 60-yarder. Um, I kind of missed it to the left. But, you know, I'll take it with how fast those meters are. You know, you can only do so much. See right here, we're going to lock in now. We're pressing coverage. He hits us with a screen. And... Wow, yeah, he hits us with a screen, um, and I was not ready for that. That's why I said, wow. See right there, he has that silver 360. Um, not a bad play call. He was in the middle of the field. Um, I'm just like, I usually click onto those screens and make a play on them. So I wasn't, I don't know, versus like when I play a ball in head-to-head, -head, I'm really good at clicking on, making a play, like picking off the screen. And, you know, he's going to test my run D now, right? He's going to test my run D as he should right here, inside zone, nice gain. Um, thankfully for us, he didn't spin, but he's down to the, what is it now? The 37 now. So we got to tie up, play a little bit of better run D right here. Baxter duo. I feel like, 
I got to work on my run shoots watching this gameplay again. Um, I'm just not there at any of the spots. But to be fair, you know, even if you are, sometimes you get blocked. You just, I don't know, these Texas linebackers, they're good, but they're not good versus the run, to keep it honest and fair. Right there, we shed. Just not able to make the tackle. Like, I, I'm just dumbed out with my user. First and 10, left hash. We actually, what do we call it? We get a super disengage, right? So he had a couple things gonna be open. We get that super disengage, uh, we'll take it, right? It was fluky stop, especially down here. Second and 17, can we capitalize off it? Can we get a turnover? Can we hold the three? Let's see what we end up doing. Um, we switch stick and we scream again. So back-to-back -back fluky stops, disengages. Um, that's Texas for you, man. You're just gonna disengage, you're gonna get sheds. Those quick jumps are no joke. Right here, he's gonna hit us with a screen to get in field goal range, and it actually works out pretty well. Fourth and 18, he was probably, what, on the 40-yard line, it was gonna be a very tough field goal to make. Um, I should have seen that coming. I, I knew he was gonna go to it. I tried to click on. I just don't know who they clicked this on to. I wanted to click on the DN and go crazy, but it is what it is. We'll take it, especially with um, the stops that we just got that were not deserved at all. We definitely got some fluky stops right there. And let's see if he can make this. I'm honestly, I really want him to miss this. It would make life so much easier. And he ends up nailing it right down the middle. So here we go, man. It's just, this is getting down to the nitty gritty. And here we go, money drive. We have a chance to clock this out and take it home. Right here, first play, not a bad start, right? We'll take those five, six yards any day of the year. Actually ends up being four yards, but nonetheless, it still works out for us. We turn on the two clock. We're trying to get nasty. We're trying to get up out of here. Uh, I have no shame, bro. I'll tell I'll say like I could throw dots, but I just don't know how to pick up this blitz at this time of the video Right here inside zone and it's free right now. It's free. We're getting easy yards I'm I am tacking the right now, but you know, I just don't know what runs to call right here. Nice gain right here I was not expecting that to be so free just to the outside edge and my stick work could be better I could have juked and made a move, but it's all good second and two works out really really well right here Right here, we run inside zone. I, I, I believe he might have run a commit right there. Good good run commit. Um, third and four right now. I just don't know what to call right there, honestly. The run was working. He finally sells out to it. Uh, I got to be better in these situations, pass the ball more. But I'm just not comfortable, right? We're trying to figure out a way. Let's see what we do right here. I think I run again. Honestly, pretty desperate. Um, good, good defense by him. I thought for sure his guy was going to get picked up number 33. And we put ourselves in a shitty, shitty spot now. Right, we ran the ball three times. We were on a second and two. We should have gone wildcat. We should have got super nasty. Um, but we're forced to pass now. And let's see what happens. So here's our money play. We're gonna cook one, cook up a dot. Um, we put our one on a streak, tied in on a post. I should have route stemmed him a little more further up. And then I got bond on a drag. Skimbo plays honestly really good defense. More of a bad read on our end. And after this play, I'm like, bro, there's just no way I threw that. And I'll, I'll say it, it's because I, I ran the ball three times. I wasn't even in a passing rhythm. It is what it is. I'm going to rewind this real quick. But peep, the, the, the hook curl, the drag was really bagged. I mean, I could yeah, I couldn't have thrown it. I was going to have the comeback, though, if I waited. And I just did not want to wait. I, I thought I was going to get screamed at. Texas Penny will do something to you psychologically. Um, it is what it is. He goes down at the one, though. We do have some small life. It's right here. He runs, uh, I don't even know. I think he's trying to take our timeouts maybe because he decides to actually run backwards. I will, probably would have scored um, on that pick six, but you know, I'm not mad at what he's doing. He's right here once more in the pistol, motions this guy out, motions him back in, runs this, I don't even know what that is. We make a great tackle on the one. And honestly, at this point, we got to play defense right here. If we give up a touchdown, we're cooked. We're not going to win. Um, I mean, we could go down and maybe get a touchdown, but versus Penny, that's screaming. It's gonna be super tough too. Our best bet is we hold him here to three right here and go get three ourselves. And then we just get in goal line right here. I don't know what he's in, like I said, pistol, ace, twins, diamond, something like that. And we shed him. Honestly, pretty bad run plays by him. But like I said, maybe he just wanted to take our timeouts. I definitely want, I'm sure he wanted to score on that down right there. But you know, I don't know. We match goal line. Goal line is just super tough to run on. If anything, he maybe didn't want to pass, throw a pick or something. So I'm not mad at it. And here we go, guys. Texas Penny, we cannot run the ball by any means now. Let's see if we could dot up one time if we clutch. And we almost got the f delay of game flag right there. Isaiah Bond on the crosser, great play. His user was in distress. We had a couple corner routes, and then we had that crosser going across the middle. Um, 
I love it. Nice little pay play. And we're able to get the QB spike down. 15 seconds, we could go. If we tack that um, first down marker in the middle of the field, we could tack that sidelines to get out of bounds. There's a lot you could do in this scenario in college football. And I love it, honestly, quite a bit. I, the only thing I don't like is when I'm on defense and I have to play in this situation. I feel like I'm always giving up points. It's so hard to play defense. Even with Texas Penny, it's so hard. Um, but with 15 seconds, no timeouts, this is almost like impossible. Right here, we're cooking up some dots and we get screamed at. Thankfully for us, we get that throw out of sack, cheese to stop the clock. 12 seconds left. Let's see, do we have any life at all? Right here, I don't even know what I'm cooking up. Who let this man cook? Okay, this isn't a bad play. Um, I got the wheel route on the right. I really just need this guy to pick up the left guy. I'm IDing him and everything. We got the speed out on the left. We're looking for it. Dot to Isaiah Bond. What a beautiful dot. I might have had that the whole game and I just wasn't ready and looking for it. And right here with nine seconds, I could have done quite a bit. I could have maybe even ran the ball right here and just came out and spiked. I don't know. It, it's tough, honestly. I don't know if you could run the ball with nine seconds and spike, but I could have done a couple things. I could have maybe passed for a first down and spike. I don't know. Well, I was just so scared I was going to get sacked that I just ended up throwing the ball away. Right there, just not a really good play call. Playing for the field goal. We made a 60-yarder earlier. Can we make this field goal? And I'm thinking about it. Six seconds left. Better off just making this kick. 58 yarders. 58 yarder. And here we go. That, that, that thing is moving. Let's see if we can make it. We made one earlier. Honestly, in the same spot. And we get the red timing cheese. GG's in the chat to Skimbo. Red timing cheese for the cheddar. I'm not even mad at it. You know, I had to get a lot of power. I didn't realize it was a 58 yarder. I thought it was more. Um, I made a, what, 60 yarder earlier in that game. So I could have put a little less power on it and I might have been able to make it even though it was a little left to the side. But I mean, I made the same kick earlier from further, except this time I got the red cheese of death. GG's in the chat to Skimbo. Couple plays I messed up on, even though, you know, I was playing decent defense. I got a couple lucky stops. We were not able to take it home. GG's once more to Skimbo. Great game. I'll come, come back soon with some more elite high level college football. Um, tips and tricks, gameplay, whatever you guys want to see, comment below and I got you. I'm going to be cooking up for you guys. Till next time, guys, stay easy. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.